What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina. If you're new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now, if you can't tell, it is late and I'm still at work. I'm actually filling tanks. Uh, me and one of our employees today has been doing absolutely nothing but servicing tanks. We've got some back from Hydro. We had some that we had to have visualed and I had a ton of customers come in here right at the closing time needing their tanks vised and filled for tomorrow morning. They're all going out on dives and they needed their tanks full. Now I've went ahead and sent all my staff home and all my employees, they've already clocked out for the day, but I'm still here filling tanks. And I wanna make this video about going above and beyond as a dive professional to make sure that your students and your customer base is always gonna be happy when they're out there diving. So guys, as an instructor trainer, my job is not only to teach someone how to become an instructor, but more importantly, how to become a safe instructor and a, an instructor that's going to be successful when they're out there here teaching. And I don't expect, and I don't think any dive shop out there is gonna expect you to work for free or to work overtime without pay or anything like that. But I do expect, or what I expect out of my staff and what I'm pretty certain any successful dive business is going to expect out of you is to be able to go above and beyond. Uh, my staff understand that if we ask them to work late, they don't have a problem doing it as long as they don't have prearranged uh, things going on. Tonight, it wasn't that big a deal. I could stick around and do these cylinders, but you always wanna make sure that you can go and beyond. One of the biggest pieces of advice as I give new instructors is, please remember, it's no longer about you. Once you become a dive professional, whether it's a dive master, assistant instructor, an instructor, once you become a dive professional, it is no longer about you. No one really cares what gear you wear. No one really cares where you wanna dive or what classes you wanna take. It's all about the customer, and this is the way that you can be successful as a dive professional. You need to cater to that customer. Now, I also think that customers need to understand that you may not be able to stay late like I can. You may, you know, they may have just showed up too late and the, and the business is already shut down. They can't get their air fills, but hey, you know what? If they can't get their tank serviced, one of the things that we do is we give them a tank to take with them while we're dealing with their cylinder. And that way they can still out, go out, go dive, have fun. And we're trying to go above and beyond to help our customer base. Just like my customer here, he came right at closing time. We have these last five cylinders to get done for him. I sent five of our cylinders with him. That way in the event, I don't get these done in time before tomorrow morning, he would still have five cylinders to go dive with. And then by the time he comes back to drop the cylinders off, these will be ready for him and off he can go. So just remember, once you're a dive professional, it's no longer about you. Be willing to go above and beyond to make your customers happy. They will be repeat customers. They will come back to you and you'll have a great working relationship with them in the future. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video out. Looks like my bank cylinders here are out of air. I'm gonna have to cut the compressor on. And as soon as I do that, you're not gonna be able to hear me talk. So I'm gonna hop off here and I'm gonna get these tanks finished up so I can get home. And like I said, hopefully my customers first thing in the morning, they'll be super happy. They'll come back, they'll be repeat. Just remember guys, go above and beyond as a dive professional. You will have those repeat customers come back to you. They're going to trust you. If they trust you in something like this, they are going to trust you to train them. They're going to trust you to sell them equipment. They're going to trust you to lead them on trips for their entertainment and for their education. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you've got any questions about what it takes to be a dive instructor, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. If you're currently taking your ITC program, maybe you got a question about it, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to help you as well. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get signed off so that I can get these tanks done and get home and spend time with my family. So until our next video, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.